All right, guys, welcome to uh, Real Classic Film Reviews and welcome back to the part of the channel where we usually take a little bit of a look, a little bit of a deep dive into um, a home video release of a classic film. And in this case, um, probably doesn't get more uh, classic or certainly more cult classic than uh, 1981's An American Werewolf in London. And as you can see, this is the, uh, the Arrow video release of An American Werewolf in London. And it is, in fact, um, a Zavi exclusive steel book um, that comes in a rigid slip case uh, this thing I think was limited to I want to say 1500 copies I might be wrong um, correct me in the comments or I'll correct myself um, steel book um, in a rigid slip case from Arrow of an American Wealth in London we're going to crack it open have a little look I'll be honest full disclosure I was not a fan uh, back when this thing first got announced of the um, the cover art, and I'm uh, if I'm honest, still I'm not too sure about that. It doesn't really do it for me. Um, you know, I understand the significance of you know a lot of the kind of iconography on there and a lot of the the uh, the illustrations, but I just think as a representation of the film itself, um, I'm a bit of a purist, and I really really kind of love the old um, original '80s artwork, which I'll probably show on the screen here uh, which is kind of what i grew up with seeing you know in, in video stars on vhs covers i think even as, as recently as the actual blu-ray release of it uh, had that cover and this is um taking me a little bit of getting used to so let's have a little look inside anyway so we've got the uh, the j card that sits across there uh, there's the side of the packaging and then we get a little glimpse of the steel book inside there um, the J card obviously has the uh, all your tech specs on there. Again, it's an Arrow video release, so there's going to be bags and bags of special features. You know, you can find them on the uh, the Zavi website, or you can pause and have a little peek. Um, exactly what you get inside there. Loads and loads of stuff to get to get through. I'm just trying to work out where the actual tape is on this thing. Uh, it's been kind of double taped. Hopefully, it'll come off nice and easily, and it does. So there we go. So yeah, that kind of. Uh, Art style continues across the back side of it there. I'll just move that to one side. Uh, you know, kind of locations from the movie and, um, you know, kind of snippets of, of scenes and, and, and whatnot on there. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I'm not, the mass, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I can't really lie. Um, but I actually didn't own a copy of this. Oh, I think I probably owned a DVD of it a while back and didn't ever get around to upgrading it to Blu-ray um, and they finally kind of dropped this so I was on board. So inside this is a really rigid case and inside as you can see we have the steel block that's actually the back of it which we'll get to in a split second but nice rigid case there and then we have uh, first off we have a poster I believe. Yep, this will be uh, interesting. So it's an actual poster of the cover. Oh yeah, look at this. That is nice. All oh, right, okay, I see what we... Uh, we'll actually take a look at that in a second because I believe that is going to show the artwork that we see across the steelbook itself. So, so yeah, in saying that, this steelbook, you know, in hand, it's absolutely excellent and you caught a glimpse of it there and I'll just try and show you again. Um, but the detailing on that, where the light catches the eyes um, is absolutely amazing. And the title there as well, really, really nice. And then the back side of it, kind of showing the uh, degradation of his friend there as he kind of turns into uh, the zombified version of himself, the wolf. There we go. And if we crack it open. All right, so we've got, just move some of this out of the way. A little bit of gump there advertising um, Children of the Corn and then a booklet with some photography and writings on the film. Cool, be good to have a little peek through. And the art style from the front and back is mirrored inside. And then we've got the Blu ray disc that sits within there. So I don't mind this artwork being on the uh, inside, to be quite honest, I quite like that. Um, but yeah, 
actually we'll open that up and turn it round so there you go you've got the entire steel book there so you know the artwork right across that's amazing absolutely amazing and as you will see is mirrored again I believe on this poster that we get inside which I've opened upside down there you go absolutely amazing artwork across there and actually I caught a glimpse of I wonder if that is the original poster art for that let me know in the uh, in the comments below if you know if that's the original uh, poster art for an American werewolf in London. So really looking forward, it's been a while since I've seen it, you know, it was a classic obviously uh, in my youth, a video shop, um, kind of holy grail in American werewolf in London obviously with a famous transformation scene, you know, almost a rite of passage for, for horror fans uh, to kind of see this film. Still quite uh, shocking in many places now, Kill still gives you the odd jump scare um, and you know, the, uh, the, the transformation effects you know, even in a modern kind of age of CGI, are kind of probably yet to be, yet to be topped. Really amazing transformation sequence in this, and the ending. I always remember the end uh, third with the scenes in the London Underground. Are still some of the creepiest scenes in horror films. Kind of full stop. So really looking forward to revisiting this. It's quite interesting, you know, in the age of 4K. This seems to be one of those rare films that's kind of should solely exist on a on a well loved well worn VHS copy seems to belong in that kind of uh, 80s video star era but definitely looking forward to uh, revisiting that so that is a pretty uh, quick whistle stop tour guys of um, the Xavi exclusive Arrow release of An American Werewolf in London um, certainly the Xavi exclusive uh, you know external slip case here um, I'm not sure about the actual steel book itself if it was released anywhere else or if that's just a Xavi exclusive it probably is but yeah, guys, uh, go check it out. Lots, lots of nice goodies in there. The booklet, the poster, uh, the slipcase with the artwork that I'm still not sold on. But the steel book itself, brilliant. And the film speaks for itself. So uh, if you're a big fan of horror or a big fan of this film in general and you've yet to pick up a copy, you're not going to go far wrong with this release. So that's it, guys. I will see you very soon. Lots more reviews coming soon. Take care. Bye-bye.